The Canon EOS R10 has such an awesome price to performance ratio that we decided to make a kit out of it. And that kit includes the camera body, the 18 to 45 millimeter kit lens, the corresponding housing, the zoom dome port, and the dedicated gear sleeve for the kit lens. So let's dive right into assembly here. What I like most about this camera and lens combination is that you can slide it in from the back without having to take the port off and the lens out. So because of that, I'll turn my attention to the front of the housing, take a little bit of the included Eyclite lubricant on my finger and thumb, and what you're gonna to wanna to do here is apply this lubricant to the outside of this O-ring and visually inspect to make sure that you don't have any hair, debris, or anything that's gonna compromise the seal. Now, don't go overboard with the lube because that's not what creates the seal. It just overcomes the friction as you glide the zoom dome port on. So, take this gear sleeve, dedicated to the 18 to 45, drop it into the inside opening of the port, and then take your zoom dome port, and you'll notice that it has three thumb screws. Make sure that these thumb screws are backed out and clear of the sealing surface. Also make sure that the sealing surface itself is clean. We don't want any hair here either. And then what I generally do, I recommend taking the drive gear and I put it on the left hand side so that you can zoom while pulling the trigger with your right hand. So as you drop that on there, it's gonna create the seal and you'll notice that the drive gear will engage with that sleeve and then as it turns, it's in turn is gonna turn the lens and let you zoom. Once you have it in place, Tighten down each one of the three thumb screws. Now we've already got a sealed port, and these thumb screws keep it from pulling off. So all they need to do is be finger tight. Once we got to that position, take the housing, put it face down like that, and you have on each side of the housing two locking latches. Now if you push the lock and lift up on each side, and then lift off of the hooks, it'll allow you to take the back off of the housing. From this point, we'll take the camera mount out, flip the camera over, and attach the camera mount to the camera itself. And then we're going to use a flat bladed screwdriver to tighten this to the camera body. And I recommend getting it snug. This keeps it from pivoting or getting any movement. And at this point, I will leave this on during the duration of the trip because it provides access to the battery compartment and I don't need to take it off. It also has a quarter 20 threaded hole, so if we wanted to put this on a tripod, we still could. From this point, turn your attention to the inside of the housing. Make sure that the on-off lever is out, the hot shoe is out of the way, and that your lens release is gonna apply pressure to the lens button. Take the camera, take the hot shoe, slide it all the way forward to make sure there's good contact, and then when we slide this in here, we're gonna feel that friction against the gear sleeve. And then what we do, put our AF on back. This point you have one main seal on the back. This does not require lubricant. Make sure this is clean. There's no hair or debris here. And if we look at the back, this is the O-ring that also does not require any lubricant. We wanna make sure it's clean and that the corresponding sealing surface is also clean. Generally running your finger over the surface is all you need. You can feel a lot more than you can see. And the O-ring always follows an outside perimeter. So it never goes inside an inside corner and it's less likely to come out. Take the back, make sure the viewfinder is at the top. Take both latches, apply them over the hooks, and if we put them down simultaneously and check that they're both locked, and won't come off. Now we can look through the clear back and see that we have a good seal all the way around the perimeter. Check to make sure that you can zoom the lens. At this point, you have a fully waterproof system. Now you'll notice you do have a half 20 plug on the side. This allows you to add a vacuum valve and check your sealing surfaces, make sure that you didn't miss a step, uh, add a little reassurance. We'll have a video linked on that. Um, you'll also notice that there's an electrical bulkhead. This is where we would go with strobes, handles. We'll have a video on that as well. Um, so if you like this video, like and subscribe to our page. And if you think of any other videos that you'd like explanations on, please let us know in the comments.